When designing content for like a website next to you, it's important to consider how that content acts across a wide variety of screen sizes on mobile and tablet devices, as well as for desktop. XD has a feature called Responsive Resize, where XD automatically predicts which constraints you are likely to apply, and then automatically applies those constraints as objects are resized. In other words, when you resize an artboard with Responsive Resize, XD does its best to recreate the placement of your elements on the larger or smaller artboard. Let's see how it works. With this document open, click the name of the artboard to the right here to select it. We're going to resize it maybe to make an iPad version. Resize the artboard to make it narrower, and you can see the content in the artboard doesn't resize or move by default. That's because you need to turn on responsive resize per artboard. So press Command and Z on Mac OS or Control and Z on Windows to undo the resizing. Come over here and enable responsive resize, then resize the artboard again. With responsive resize turned on, Adobe XD analyzes the objects on the artboard their grouping structure, their proximity to the edges or the parent group like the artboard, and the layout information when resizing. When resizing, pink crosshairs appear on the content that's being resized. These crosshairs indicate that constraint rules are applied to a group. Constraint rules are used to determine how objects behave when you resize them. Undo the resizing again by pressing Command and Z on Mac or Control and Z on Windows. Now, before resizing the artboard, you can group similar objects to establish relationships between them. Select all of this content and then press Command and G on Mac or Control and G on Windows to group it. Now try resizing the artboard again to see the relationship. When resized, grouped objects stay together by default and allow you to establish a hierarchy in your projects. Go ahead and undo the resizing again by pressing Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows. Now, if you're not happy how the content is resizing, like this image right here, you can also edit constraint rules manually. This enables you to determine how objects behave when you resize the component, the artboard, or the group. Manual constraints you apply will always override automatic constraints placed by XD. Select this image and set the constraint to manual. And then you've got some options here. You can set which side of the artboard it's fixed to, and whether the width or height has a fixed width or not. Turn off fixed width, that way the width can resize. Resize the artboard again, and you'll see what happens.